Hello everyone, uh, my name is Svetlana Stone and we are here at Public Media Network where every voice matters. And today our guests are Calix International Exchange professionals from Russia. Their goal is to observe how the United States work with the social integration of people with disabilities and learn new strategies and techniques to work with population in their own country. And by the way, in 1940, the U.S. State Department developed the International Visitor Leadership Program. And this professional exchange program promotes citizen diplomacy. Kalamazoo Calix International joined this effort in 1972. And since that time, they already had more than 2,000 visitors from more than 100 countries. And I would like to say hello. Здравствуйте. Hello. I, uh, <laughs> I said in Russia to welcome our guest. Welcome to Kalamazoo. And I would like uh, people who are going to watch us here, local people in, in Kalamazoo, to learn about you. Uh, tell us a, a little bit about uh, yourself, um, about your professions, your hometowns, and what uh, you are hope to learn here in the United States. So let's start with me. My name is Sandro. Uh, I'm a, actually a teacher, a teacher and basically a tutor. Uh, I work in a hospital school. Uh, it's a unique program in Russia, in Moscow. Uh, this uh, hospital uh, connected uh, with uh, children with oncology or hematology diseases. So we just invented such school, such sphere to socialize uh, children who are in long treatment to get their taught and just to make them like they have no problems at home. So we're trying to do these things. And I came to America with this program just to exchange our experience, to get some knowledge about this situation at USA and just to get something new about this problem. Actually, I quite know a lot of it, but I would still love to share my experience too. Thank you so much. Olga? Um, hi, my name is uh, Olga Vorobyova. I'm from Moscow and uh, I am a therapist. And um, so I work with uh, people with different disabilities from orphanages for adults and with children too. Um, um, what about me in America? It's, I think it's, um, so I'm very happy to be here and have a, a very good experience. Um, what you hope to learn? Uh, yes, <coughs> about everything. I mean, about everything in um, art therapism area because in Russia it just start to be like open in in this area. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Tatiana Yudina. I'm from Moscow, too. Uh, I am a psychologist and a researcher, and now I am a PhD student at university. Um, the focus of my research is inclusive education, and that's why I'm happy to be here with you guys, because I would like to learn something more about U.S. experience in inclusive education. It's now a really hot topic in education in Russia. Thank you so much. And also, I would like to ask you, what other city uh, will be a part of your educational tour? Are you planning to visit other cities uh, that will be part of your program? We've been to Washington, D.C. a couple of days, and now we are here in Kalamazoo. Thank you. And uh, also, I would like to ask you, is this is your first visit to the United States? When you first found out uh, you were coming to Kalamazoo, what did you think? Uh, oh, if we are speaking, for example, about me, that yeah, that's my actual first visit. First visit. Uh, I was very excited, and um, when I first uh, uh, knew about Kalamazoo, 
I just Google it. <laughs> 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 and um, uh, the funniest thing that um, actually we have the same weather in Moscow. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> even we have not many uh, differences, I mean, uh, about the weather. And actually, I understand this problem of snow. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, this city quite amazed me, actually, because I didn't even realize that it's such big, um, I mean, with a territory, uh, because in population is not so actually big. And that's why a lot of things actually amaze me, except that, but after I was here. So in short, that's all. Thank you very much. Um, so uh, when you first found uh, yes. that you're going to go to Kalamazoo, what do you think about? Have you ever heard about mm. Kalamazoo? Uh, about Kalamazoo, no. But uh, I, I, I never been in this part of America, but I was in South America before, and um, so it's not your first visit. Yes, but it's it's very different places, like South America and this part. And but Kalamazoo, when I just uh, saw the place where we need to go, in, when I was in Moscow, um, I start to find some. Mm, information about this city and um, so I think this is like s like big family city. <laughs> oh, that's so, wonderful! Yes. Yeah. That's wonderful. And to when hear. we came here, um, thank you. This is it's it's true. Yes, it's big family and in the one city. Thank you so much. And what is? Uh, this is my first time in the U.S. and I'm really impressed. I like the country. And, you know, I like traveling, and uh, Kalamazoo is totally different comparing to Moscow, which is 15 million of population. So I really like this quiet, nice place, and it's nice that here I can meet deers on the backyard of my house. So it's really <laughs> it's great. Have you heard before about Kalamazoo? Uh, actually, no, I didn't. So you didn't hear <laughs> So thank you so much. And uh, the other questions would be probably very uh, tricky. Why did you decide to apply for an educational exchange with the State Department? Why do you decide what was your motivation? Mm, I've heard that U.S. has an experience in uh, social adaptation of people with disabilities. And it's always interesting to compare the experience in your country and some international experience as well. I just enjoy traveling and that's also a great opportunity to meet people. And when you just come as a tourist, you can sightseeing or something like that. But uh, this program gives us an uh, exciting opportunity to meet professionals in our field. That's why I really enjoy it. Thank you very much. So I think uh, this can be the same for me because um, I just saw a p an opportunity to go uh, to US and uh, to get this experience because uh, particularly in whole spheres which is connected with education you got more experience than we have. I mean uh, not in a whole field but in such small parts of it something like inclusive education or people with disabilities it's a little bit new theme for our education unfortunately but still we are making some big steps and we want to share this and we want to know about it and that's why of course uh, and uh, by the way i like traveling too um, uh, and our project, Uchim uh, Znaim, it's the school where I, I uh, work, uh, they gave us such opportunity and they, they just tell us that you can go if you want, but if you don't want, you can stay. It's just a matter of fact that you want it or not. That's what, of course, I want. I want just to know people better, how, what people are there, I mean, in this field. Of course, I understand who are Americans, but I don't realize who are these people who are working with such people, I mean, with diseases or disabilities or something like this. So that's actually was a great experience. Thanks for this opportunity, actually. 
It's better, uh, like they say in, in Russia, one time to see than one hundred <laughs> times to hear. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. That's actually the same. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I agree with two of um, you guys, <laughs> and um, I um, I just was surprised because everything what we could. Uh, see from our TV shows or our TV uh, news about America and about American people, it's different that I see now here, when I'm here. And um, yes, of course, the work with the people with disabilities here in up level than in Russia. But I think that it's amazing that this program uh, could be um, could be help to people to have sharing between countries in a friendly way. I mean, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, what is this something that you have learned or place have you easy, uh, visit in Kalamazoo that you found most interesting? What was that you found? Wow. I think maybe MRC was like wow because uh, these people are, I don't know how to explain it in two words, but they are actually like a very good person. They just help to people with such disabilities. And it was actually great. They're making them a part of society. It's wonderful because, uh, you know, it's more easier just to close your eyes than to do it, uh, something that will really help. It's, you should be a very good person, I mean a real part of society to do such things. It's great. Because everyone in, in, in nowadays society just thinks about themselves. And not so much people thinking about uh, in other people, especially when they have problems, real problems, not just financial or something like this. It's very... I don't know, I can say this word, it's just wonderful. It's amazed me a lot. And uh, as for me, goodwill is a great idea. I think they're just so easy, you know, this idea is just <laughs> you can do these good mm. things just making nothing. I mean, you just brought their things that you really don't need and they start to make it better to another people just to use them to make something good for another people is actually a great too. And these two things amazed me a lot. And of course, uh, I <laughs> everything actually amazed me. <laughs> and the car museum is, was great too. I just can't say this in a couple of words. I can actually tell you a lot of things that amazed me, but I will give a speech to my colleague. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> So uh, for me, all the program uh, was and will very interesting, and uh, some of the places like the Arcadia uh, or um, MRC Arts uh, Studio and MRC and Goodwill, and yes, it's it's amazing idea to help to people with disabilities um, do the right. Um, choice for their profession so they could really choose what they want to do in life they and have options yes a lot of, yes and um, um, so we were in uh, zero zero kilometer <laughs> <laughs> in Kalamazoo and yes I know not everyone know <laughs> the people who live in Kalamazoo know <laughs> where <laughs> they but we were there <laughs> and did a wish yes well, that's wonderful yes. I even don't know about this place <laughs> you should share with me later <laughs> maybe <laughs> yes. it's wonderful <laughs> yeah okay so what you have learned or, uh, or um, found interesting about the places you visited? Yeah, I agree with guys and I'm really impressed how people here can uh, connect social care and business and they not just help uh, people with disabilities like a charity, 
but they try to give them an opportunity to earn money. That's really great. And I just would like a uh, few words about residential opportunities and Bronson hospitals. It was really interesting for us as well. Thank you very much. And about something that you probably like, uh, you probably visit many restaurants. Oh my God. Your yeah. host families <laughs> cook for yeah. you. <laughs> so what is the most unique food you have tried since you're here in the United States? And oh. what do you think about? I can't tell it. It <laughs> was fried pickle in the Union. <laughs> 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 My God, that was, was so that? strange. <laughs> fried pickle, you know what it is? <laughs> fried pickle, yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> Probably, I know it too, but not fried. And as I said, fried. I, <laughs> I realized, oh, will it be tasty or not? Or maybe I shouldn't try it at all, but still I tried it. And it was, oh my God, it's actually tasty. <laughs> <laughs> if we are speaking about dishes, it, it was great, quite great. And you guys have a lot of good restaurants in a such city like Kalamazoo. I thought that uh, probably in Moscow we don't have a g <laughs> such a big variety of food. <laughs> I mean, that's quite great. For me, it was in Union, too. It was mac and cheese with uh, alligator. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, it's um, interesting. Yes, it's interesting. <laughs> it's a little bit uh, look like um, um, with chicken, but no, it was alligator. Yeah. Um, you sure? It's yeah, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, though. <laughs> Yeah, that I, I tried alligator. Oh, okay. Yeah, and... Um, Just so the one I think, I try alligator, you know. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> okay. in Kalamazoo. <laughs> yes, and uh, the bar, what's the name of the bar? Ar Irish bar, Irish pub, Ovener? No, Ovener, what the name? I don't remember, actually. Yeah, so it's not far from our office. You mean is that the yeah. where you were yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So there, uh, amazing beer. <laughs> yes. really. Beer is, a, is another topic, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and Irish music. So it was really cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Tatiana, what about you? Uh, I'm not a beer lover, but uh, yesterday... <laughs> but I love beer, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I like here. Yeah, uh, but yesterday I tried local cider and it hmm. was pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. I really like it. And my host family <laughs> pastries, I like it also. Well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, so we'll go back uh, to our topic. What professional agencies have you visited so far? What professional organizations that you visited mm. so uh, far since you are here? Yeah, we already said about the Arcadi Institute, MRC, and uh, MRCR, residential it, yeah. opportunities, goodwill. goodwill yeah. I think probably we we'll visit all uh, organizations mm -hmm. which is somehow somehow connected with the social sphere yeah. of people with disabilities. Probably it was the main goal of our uh, visit here. I think uh, yeah, we named it all. And some museum. Yes, and like yeah, like Yeah, but that's yeah. not organizations actually, or it can be organizations too. <laughs> No, yeah. So before to ask you a next question, uh, I just want to tell you a little bit about uh, um, myself, uh, um, impression. Uh, when the first time I'm originally from Latvia, I came to the United States and I was really surprised to see so many people with disabilities, that they're not left behind, that they're mm -hmm. helped, that they're work. They're like, uh, uh, truly like um, treated as a human beings. And um, I was shocked though I never seen it in our countries. It was all hidden behind um, something. And I found um, information that since September 2014, all schools in Russia must include children with disability, which is already uh, pra uh, practic uh, that's uh, already implemented so many years ago. Um, like I said, students are, do not feel that there's something wrong with them, which is, uh, but all school in Russia will include um, children with disability and new standards on inclusion education uh, went into effect at the end of 2016. Also, there are more than 500,000 children with disabilities in Russia and nearly 200,000 are still segregated 
in residential institution and special correctional school or isolated in their homes or more than 13,000 of these children received no education at all. It was so sad for me to learn that since that it's little changes but you know little changes will bring something good and I'm really impressed with the people like you that come here and desire to learn something new and implement. So what have you learned that you may take back to your own country to share and implement and how do you think it's going to change the community that they would treat those uh, people with disability uh, equally and what so far do you learn and you think how you're going to implement and how it's going to change your community? I think uh, we need to provide more opportunities for such children, not just in school, in whole society too. So uh, it will be better for everyone if they became a part of society. You know, we have a lot of problems in this sphere because um, it really can be impossible to get uh, people with disabilities to school because of, uh, I mean, it can be a real problem saying to enter the school or something like this, but uh, our government just start to realize that, that it's a real problem and we should do something else except just saying okay or something like this, you know. And uh, one thing that I realized uh, and I would to add or maybe I would to say to someone in Russia that it can be done that uh, they shouldn't be segregated somehow from the school, they should be be a part of the school and this will be society. normal yes and everybody should underst understand it because probably everyone in average school of uh, US knows that okay you're with disabilities and nothing else okay you can't walk or something like this no problem man you can be a friend of mine or something like this we have a different opinion about this unfortunately we then became to this realizing unfortunately but we still should tell people about it first of all that they can be a real part of society it doesn't matter what disabilities they have and it's actually people should think about it a little bit wider okay. as for me as as what I should bring to Russia first of all that's great thank you for me, I think it's an uh, idea um, from MRC Art Studio. So I think it's one of the greatest ideas for Russia and it's possible to do it there because it's one, like, one of these areas, it's like a business. Another uh, that you could give uh, the people with disabilities like different types of work from where they could have some salary or money. Uh, another one, it's different workshops, festivals, art galleries. And uh, so from this area, it could be to, uh, to start to be together, like people with disabilities and without. So maybe in some places like art gallery or workshops. That's great. That's great. Um, <clears throat> the thing I'm really impressed is uh, volunteering here, because I'd like to say people in Russia, of course, government should and m sometimes must make many things f to care for these people, but also just yes, we all can make too. something to help. I, and I'm really impressed that here people are looking for different ways to include people with disabilities in communities. And also I think it's important just to maybe to stay uh, and to analyze what do we have and where do we want to be and how can we get there. So it's just simple things we can start with to improve the situation. Yeah, volunteering it's actually amazed me too. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of people just can do it without any problems. I mean, and okay. Because they won't. Yeah, because yeah. they won't. Yeah, actually, it shouldn't be a whole life of volunteering, but you can spend maybe one day of week just to volunteer. Mm -hmm. Or a couple hours. Yeah, or a couple <coughs> hours, or even you can teach somebody. 
to volunteer or tell about them, actually. You can do it. Of course, we have volunteers in Russia, but it's, it's not such a big variety. I mean, big variety to volunteer when, where you can volunteer, unfortunately. So that's amazing, me too. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. It was a serious mm -hmm. conversation. So uh, right mm -hmm. now, I just want a little <laughs> bit to make you smile. So besides the cold weather, do you see any similarities with Kalamazoo and mm -hmm. your hometown in Russia? <laughs> yeah, exactly the same now. Like I think that something happened with the weather in Russia. So, but it's exactly the same. My exactly. friend jokes that we bring winter here. For exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Maybe. It's it's our fault because you know we have what we have uh, such amount of snow this year that my mom can just open her door, and my friend's jokes, it's your mom brings the snow here. That's no, 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 it's <laughs> colder here. That's it's we colder. didn't bring snow. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And uh, I think we like beers as, as you do. <laughs> 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 yeah, actually, if we are speaking about similarities... What, uh, yeah, what are similar that you think, oh, Americans like Russians or Russians like Americans? You like, you like to party. <laughs> we like it though. Celebrate the life, uh, yes. yes. <laughs> I think hospitality as yeah. well. It's yeah. Very, yeah, yeah, hospitality is very developed here in the United States. And maybe yeah. a lot of amazing people are here. Mm -hmm. And you like to speak about everything as we do. Like, yeah, what is it? Oh, you know, I was there and my son, <laughs> uh -huh, and something like this. <laughs> we always love to speak. Maybe not all of us, but. I like. Me <laughs> 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 too. <laughs> 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 oh, thank you very much. And what is something you would like to share with our audience that's going to watch the show about Russia that we may not know? <laughs> something that you want to share with them. Okay, this is okay. what we would like you to know about us. Okay, guys, there is no bears in our <laughs> street. <laughs> <laughs> we don't drink much vodka, you know. <laughs> uh, we are quite good people, <laughs> I think. We, we like to make some new friends, new connections. Uh, maybe not all of us can speak English very well, unfortunately, but we still like to communicate with people. We like to, have, to share emotions. We are uh, very emotional people, actually. Uh, we can look like a sad person who never smiles, but actually <laughs> it's not true. Um, uh, I don't know what to say else. Maybe my colleagues will add something. <laughs> I don't know. I just think um, don't afraid to come to Russia. It's not a, a point. It's not scary <laughs> at all. Yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's not a dangerous country. Um, all people, I, I don't know, yes, I think all the people, like in every country, uh, we have good and not so good <laughs> people, but, but exactly. mostly of us are very friendly to every people from all the world. So even in America, from America people, we are so happy to see always. In our streets. So welcome homes, to Russia, guys. <laughs> yes, so welcome. Yep. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. I just would like to join the guys, so don't be afraid of us. And just, <laughs> uh, just come to Russia, meet people, uh, learn something about our culture. Moscow is a really interesting place to visit, and we have also many, many different places. So, and because of currency exchange level, <laughs> this may be a good trip for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Well, thank you all for stopping and sharing why you are here and what you hope to learn. We welcome you back to Kalamazoo at any time, and we would like to uh, give you a small gift uh, from Public Media Network so you can bring at home and... Can I do wow. American Thank water you so much. <laughs> <laughs> like and remember about us, Kalamazoo, and public uh, Thank you very media much. network. Yeah. Thank and you. And again, we are here at Public Media Network, where every voice matters. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks.